Hi there, I'm Catherine Ross from BreakFreeWithEFT.com and I specialize in helping kids and parents overcome stress and anxiety. So I thought I would do this little video um, to show you a couple of tips to use because I know that uh, kids have just started school again today. Some kids might be back, uh, some kids might not be, but uh, my children are not school age yet. They're three and six months, so um, we haven't hit that, that milestone yet. However, I know um, from a lot of the clients that I actually uh, work with that this is a very stressful time. It's when children go from you know having um, a great time on the holidays, they're at home, they're with mum, they're with dad, they're doing their own thing and then they have to go back to school and we know that that can be quite um, stressful for them so often they they might have separation anxiety if they're particularly young um, they might have issues at school going on with bullying uh, they might just feel really uh, dissatisfied with going back into that environment so I know that as a parent often you can feel really helpless because you don't know what to do to help your child feel better and talking about the problem can you know help to a certain degree but often it's actually reinforcing the problem and triggering us at a cellular level. So what I do is I help to give parents strategies to cope with stress and to build resilience and self-esteem. And it's my absolute passion to work with children. I myself have been to 11 schools um, over 12 years, so I know all about bullying and, uh, and um, you know, fit, fitting in and finding friendships and all the things that go along with that as well. So it's my absolute mission to, to help children overcome these types of issues um, and give them a tool that they can use themselves anywhere, anytime for any issue. And that's what I do is I use EFT tapping, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And it's a clinically proven form of um, emotional acupuncture without needles, so to speak. So it's clinically proven to work with all types of emotional conditions and some physical conditions as well. And while I work with lots of different things, um, I, I love working with anxiety in kids because I see it so much uh, in these day, this day and age as well. So particularly around school. So I wanted to show you a really quick technique just to introduce um, your child to EFT and EFT is really great for kids from three years um, up so we can work in different ways and there are different applications as to how to use them on children younger than three but um, this is a really good way to introduce tapping to your child so what you're gonna do is when they come home from school tonight you can sit with them before bed and actually get them to run through their day with you and while they're doing that you're going to be tapping on their acupressure points so that's what EFT is is that we're actually tapping on acupressure points on our face and upper body while we're talking about the problem and while that might feel really really strange talking about the issue um, thinking oh no we're going to reinforce the negative it's actually clearing what it is that is going on for us while we're tapping so that's the benefit of it it's a, it's subconscious work and it's actually clearing these issues as we're tapping and talking we're allowing our body to process whatever it is that we're feeling and let it go instead of getting you know caught up in that stress and we all know what it's like to be caught up in stress <laughs> so children Children always don't often don't have you know, a mechanism to actually discharge that stress response so this is a really really great one that you can use and it's not the full tapping rounds but this is a great way to help them to get used to the tapping process and what's involved and allow them to sort of you know realize that hey I actually feel different now or I feel like I've let go um, of whatever it is that's bothering me so first of all I'm just going to run through the points that we use in tapping okay so just for the purpose of this exercise we're just going to use the top of the head which is a, a funny one you don't have to rub your tummy at the same time <laughs> and then you move down to the eyebrow point so it's where the eyebrow actually starts just use any side that's convenient to you there's no right or wrong out to the side of the eye on that bone there then we go underneath the eye and it's not as the harder that you tap the more results you get by the way <laughs> under the nose on the cupid's bow there then on the chin point then we move down to the collarbone so if you find that little dip in your throat there that goes in and about an inch outwards and down um, is that that's where you're actually going to tap as well so it's like when gorillas beat their chest just there and then under your arm where your bra strap sits so those are the points that we're going to use in this exercise. So tonight what I want you to have a go at is talk to your child, um, and depending on how open they are to, to speaking with you about their day. Obviously, if you're dealing with teenage boys, it's a different issue. Um, and I have a book on that, so you can do you can do those exercises with them. But um, this is a, something that I want you to do is to actually ask them what were the best and worst parts of their day. All right, so when they're in bed, they're nice and settled. I want you to get them to go through the day with you. And as they're doing that, you can actually be tapping on them or you can be tapping on yourself and getting them to follow through with you. So you can have them tap on themselves or you can physically tap on them. 
and just get them to, to uh, talk to you about what it is that really bothered them that day. Maybe it was the teacher who wasn't very nice or maybe someone in their friendship group you know, excluded them or they felt really lonely at lunchtime, things like that, or they missed mum and dad. And you're just tapping through really gently as they're talking just through all these points and it might last you know three or so minutes so if it's about three minutes that's a really great amount of time to help the body actually process um, what's going on at a, at a cellular level as well so while we're tapping and we're talking about these issues as the child we're helping them to actually process whatever has gone on for them in the day so instead of that emotion being stuck in the body you're helping it to actually release and let go so that they can clear themselves and move on with the rest of their day and kids are really receptive to this type of work because they don't have the layers of trauma usually or they don't have you know that that skepticism and that cynicism that us as adults tend to have um, and although this is clinically proven it does look a little bit weird so you can be really creative with it you can be like oh this is the monkey spot and um, and call them magic spots and things like that because kids are really uh, into those types of things so you can just tap on them gently while they're talking about you know what happened during their day or this happened when they went there and uh, they said this to me and it made me feel really upset and then you can just get them to to go through that and just tap on these points it's really really simple okay and even if you don't notice it what will happen you can look for cues as to relaxation and letting go so you know they might take a nice deep breath in, in and out they might have a sigh they might even have a yawn and especially at night time that's really good and the benefit of doing this at night as well is that you're also helping to process what's gone on for them in the day so that their brain is less likely to actually be you know on alert and wait um, and staying awake so when we're processing our thoughts and feelings we're allowing our body to let go unwind and relax which is exactly what we want at night time and you can explain this to them at the beginning as a simple relaxation technique so you don't have to go into all the studies and all the ins and outs of, uh, of how it works and why it works and what it is and everything you can just say this is just a really great tool to help you relax and let go of some of these feelings that you you have right now and if you have any yucky feelings it just helps to take them all away and usually kids really enjoy that as well so that's all you have to do and that's a really great way to introduce it um, to your children and even try it yourself as well because you know as mums and dads and parents and everything we we often hold a lot of uh, anxiety a lot of stress and a lot of emotions so now if this is something that you know has triggered something within you and you feel that you might benefit from some work um, please feel free to get in touch or ask me any questions I'm more than happy to uh, to respond to them so this is all you have to do just tap through the points and talk about the um, the best parts of their day and the worst parts of the day and feel free to let me know how you go as well all right so for more information my website is breakfreewitheft.com and i hope you all have a lovely start to term two yes <laughs> term two all right see you later bye for now